right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Many, I, I know it's hard for many of you to believe and very difficult for many of you to believe. But you would not believe the type of people that I have literally trolling this ministry. I mean, literally trolling this ministry. Can I appeal to your pure mind, if there's any purities about it at all, just please listen to me for a second. You know, I understand and I comprehend very well that there are a lot of fanatics out there in the world. And I usually have compassion for them. I sincerely do because I know that they're mentally challenged. And I know they are. But in this case right here, we have a man that is literally a diagnosed schizophrenic. Um, he's been here once or twice, um, one time on good terms. Uh, after that, he wasn't welcome. And, um, I met him again in Hilo, um, Hawaii, myself and sister Carol. I spent four days with their, with him there, counseling with him, talking with him because we were visiting a, a, another Israelite saint there in Hilo, Hawaii. And, um, what, what's amazing is, is that no matter what you say and do, you can't help this guy. But anyway, he decides, um, that he's just, just. I don't know, just start going off on the deep end. But I want y'all to understand something. By their fruit, you shall know them. By their fruit, you shall know them. If anybody is doing anything that is some has some form of effectiveness in ministry, especially for the kingdom of Yah, you're going to have people who are motivated by the devil, motivated by the enemy, to try to do whatever they can, whether they do try to deliver me through envy or whether they slander or tell bear or backbite, they're going to do everything that they can. And not only that, you got people confederate. Have you ever read it in the Bible before about all these people that set up false witnesses? And it's all because they agree that they hate or either they're envious of Christ at that time. And with me, it's just that they literally hate me. They hate me. But I want you to see firsthand some of the things that I have to do here, endure. Here, here is a self-appointed pastor. Uh, he appointed himself. And this is the type of language that we have to put up with. Uh, he came to straightway uninvited, uninvited. Um, and he thought that he was just, you know, we're just going to allow him into our home. I want you to hear his side of the story. But I want you to also to, to hear the type of attitude that we constantly have to put up with. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't expect for it to go away at all, ever, because uh, it's part of the price and the cause. All those that live set apart, they live godly. In Yahshua HaMashiach, you will suffer persecution. But I've got to let you people hear and see in order for you to understand. Check this out. Pastor Roger, uh, October the 11th of 2014, I got, well no, October 10th, 2014, I got on an airplane, I flew from Vancouver, BC, and I flew into Nashville, Tennessee. I got a hotel room for two nights, and on October the 11th in the morning, uh, I went down to the Waffle House across from the hotel where I was staying, and I had breakfast, and then I went back to my room, I had a shower, and I put on my Hebrew Israelite t-shirt that Sister Carol, Pastor Dow's wife, gave to me over in Hilo, Hawaii. I got a taxi, and I had a taxi. I paid a couple hundred, about three, uh, a couple hundred dollars for a taxi to taxi me into Straightway. I got to Straightway. I got inside. I took my shoes off in the tabernacle. And before I know it, uh, a bunch of black niggers. These were niggers. These were not black men. These were niggers. And they physically grabbed me and threw me out of the tabernacle. Uh, they were nice enough to, well, no, there was one person that said, hey, you know, maybe we should let him put his shoes on. Well, that was interesting. And then they hauled me up to the gates of Stritley. And Elder Rufus uh, Carswell married to Jennifer Carswell. Uh, Elder Doug Becker married to Diane Becker. Uh, they sat at the gates of Stritley and they called the Macon County Sheriff Department to have me hauled off, uh, all because I had a $3,000 cash uh, free will love offering for Elder Smitty and Sister Kathy to go to India. I would like to know what Pastor Dow's opinion is on this one. I'm just wondering. What say of you? 
Charlie Brown. Now, this, this man is literally a full-fledged schizophrenic. I mean, Ron Wittenbach. You can look him up, go to him. You can ask, I don't know if he can or not. He may can, but, but when he came to this ministry, he actually told me that. That he, he was diagnosed as schizophrenic by the medical profession. The problem that we're having today is that there are many people just like this out here on this internet that have not yet been diagnosed. <laughs> they are literal schizophrenics. Sad part about it is, is that people like you listen to these people. And of course, you know what? I hope you do. It's your right. It's your prerogative. I hope you do. I hope you get your ears full. And I hope you have a wonderful day. I really, truly do. Uh, but as for me and my house, we're going to serve the most high. Got to go and get about our father's business. What do you think about that?